Benjamin Damio came back from the dead with a were jaguar feature. Fiction and fantasy realms are ridden with tales of mythical creatures who can transform into animals or even exist in a half-human or half-animal form. Though there are many such supernatural creatures, we often only hear stories and fables of werewolves and vampires and unicorns. Today, let us explore the story of a were jaguar who rose from the dead with astonishing powers after a clash with a supernatural cult. Created by John Arcudi and Guy Davis, Benjamin Damio was a character in the Hellboy comic series. Damio lived quite a regular life as a U.S. Marine official until a tragic accident turned his life upside down. However, not even a fatal accident could kill his spirit as he returned to life in a new form and wore his battle scars with pride as he worked with the BRPD. Let us dive into his past life and have a look at his first comic book appearance. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The first comic appearance and origins explored. Benjamin Damio was introduced to the BRPD comics, The Dead, Volume 1, wherein we see his first appearance and the story behind him joining the BRPD. While the members of the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense, BRPD, investigate a case of frog monsters, Thomas Manning brings them some footage of a morgue. The group plays the footage, and we see that the video is of a doctor taking a unique medical case. However, there is something unsettling going on in the background, as a body from the morgue seems to be moving and coming back to life. The dead body manages to set itself out of the body bag and emerges with a dead, deformed body. The doctor is quite stunned to witness the dead man coming back to life. While the dead man asks the doctor about their whereabouts, while Thomas Manning pauses the video, the rest of the team wonders how the man in the video is related to the current frog monster crisis. Thomas tells him that they will be relocating to an old government facility in Colorado to work on the frog problem. He also reveals that the dead man in the video is Ben Damio, who will be their new field commander. He tells him that Benjamin used to be a marine officer and he has been working as an informal consultant for the BRPD ever since his accident. Liz Sherman protests against Captain Zombie joining the team and brings up the video footage where Damio rose from the dead. At the same time, Damio appears in the office and makes a formal introduction. He also addresses the conversation in the room and reveals that he was dead, but only for three days. He does not seem offended by Liz's comment and is quite eager to get to work. The team gets acquainted with Damio and they soon prepare to leave for Colorado. In the second issue, the BRPD team settles in Colorado while the giant frog problem becomes a major source of their worries. While the rest of the team look into it, Johan Krauss, an officer that moved to Colorado, seemed quite distracted in their new place. He wanders the corridors of the building, and eventually, Damio and Liz accompany him to the basement. Much to their surprise, they find a frightened old man living in an isolated room in the building. Over the next issue of the comics, Damio and Liz interrogate the old man and learn that his name is Gunther Eis. Gunther worked as a physicist in Germany and later came to America, where he was trapped in his sealed room after an explosion. He had no way of escaping and he survived for years in the room while living on insects, mushrooms, and spiders. While Damio gets to know about Gunther, Johan wanders around the place and comes across a room with electrical equipment and a television. He tries to fix some of the equipment when the TV turns on and the ghost of five German scientists appear on the screen. Though taken back, Gunter communicates with them in German, and they have a conversation. Soon after, these scientists make their way out of the screens and fly into the room in terrifying ghostly forms. In the next issue, Damio tries to get a hold of the ghost when he comes across Gunter once again. The physicist claims to have a device that can open a portal to heaven, and he turns the device on. Before Damio can even approach Gunter, the physicist's body explodes due to the machine and a strange creature bursts from within his body. The creature grows into a towering monster, and Damio looks around for a weapon to contain it. Damio tries to control the creature, while Johan appears at the scene with some aid. They work together to turn off Gunther's machine, thereby closing the portal that led to the creature's appearance. Once the portal is closed, it causes an explosion that destroys the monster and leaves behind a shell of Gunther's human body. Damio kills off whatever is left of Gunther as a precautionary measure. Since Gunther has now been killed, the five ghosts of German scientists also get their revenge, and they soon leave the place, which brings an end to this problem. Early Life and How He Joined the BRPD Benjamin Damio was born into a military family, and his father carried out many missions for the military in Vietnam. Later, he himself became a U.S. Marine official and dedicated his entire life to serving the country. Damio was soon promoted to the rank of captain, and things were going quite well in his career until a tragic accident that happened in 2001. 
Benjamin was sent on a rescue mission to the Bolivian jungle along with his squad of eight officials. They were searching for a group of nuns who were kidnapped and been held hostage at a political organization known as the True Path. Though True Path did not carry out such violent activities, the officers were still ordered to investigate the workings of the organization, which led them to venture into the jungle. However, here they discovered that the actual gang behind the kidnapping was a secret cult that resided in the jungle and worshipped the native jaguar god. The cult ran many illegal activities and was responsible for killing and attacking many tribes and locals that lived in the area. Benjamin and his team of officials launched into a fight with the cult members, which led to many of the officers getting injured or even killed. Eventually, Ben had a strange supernatural encounter with the jaguar god himself. He could sense the spirit of a giant jaguar and started seeing strange visions. The spirit told him that his new life was about to begin, which shook Benjamin to his core as he fell to the ground, presumed dead. Ben was taken to the morgue, where his body was supposed to get an autopsy in three days. However, he emerged alive from his body bag in the morgue and thus began his new life. After waking up from the dead, he did not have any adverse side effects and only had a gash on his face, which he wore like a battle scar. He also discovered his newfound powers and soon after, Ben began working as an informal consultant to the BRPD. Benjamin Damio in the Hellboy reboot movie and the controversies. Benjamin Damio's character was also written into the 2019 reboot of the Hellboy movie. The movie was the third live-action film in the Hellboy franchise, and it was centered around the plot of the Hellboy comics. However, Hellboy in Mexico, Darkness Calls, The Wild Hunt, etc. Portrayed by Daniel Day Kim, Benjamin Damio is introduced into the movie when Hellboy gets into trouble doing one of his missions while working with the BRPD. Though Damio helps Hellboy and even travels with him back to the police headquarters, he appears to have a secret vendetta against Hellboy. Damio gets his hands on a specialized bullet that will kill Hellboy, and he keeps it safe while the group figures out their next move. We also get a glimpse into Damio's life story as he talks to a group member, Alice, and we learn more about his past and how he survived a demonic jaguar attack. As the movie progresses, Damio joins hands with Hellboy and Alice to help fight against the fairy goddess Nimoy, who intends to use Hellboy to start an apocalypse. The trio works together and decapitates Nimoy, and Damio also discards the special bullet intended for Hellboy. Though Daniel Day Kim portrayed Damio, he was not the first choice for the character on screen portrayal. Initially, Ed Skrine was cast to play Damio, but this caused quite a controversy, as Damio's character is a Japanese-American, and fans were quite vocal as they talked against the whitewashing of an Asian actor. Lloyd Levin, the producer of the Hellboy franchise, clarified that they cast an English actor only because they had created an English background for Damio in the adaptation as the movie was set in the UK. After facing backlash, the producers finally rectified their mistake and went back to the comic book version of Damio. They then cast Daniel Day Kim to play the role of Damio, who was a better representation of the character. What makes him so powerful? Benjamin Damio was an ex-Marine officer which gave him quite an advantage in hand-to-hand -hand combat or any battle-like situation. With years of military experience, he could wield a large number of weapons and had quite an advantage in physical fights. However, he had no additional powers or supernatural abilities in his human form. On the other hand, Ben possesses a significant number of animalistic powers in his jaguar form. He has super speed and strength, just like a jaguar, and he can heal from his injuries at a very rapid rate. Moreover, he could also dodge attacks in the form of bullets or knives and was immune to almost all means of physical aggression. However, Damio could be brought down with weapons that were wielded with magic and he was not immune to supernatural weapons. Conclusion With his years of experience as a military officer, Ben Damio makes up for a crucial part of the BRPD. Damio is a force to reckon with and his mere presence in the BRPD captivates the reader's attention. He is quite a team player and he's an essential character who adds a lot of interest in the comics storyline. And if you like our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.